Hey, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you a trick for tagging overhead roof light windows uh, that otherwise aren't visible in your floor plan view. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to place a roof light window in this flat roof up here. So I'll go to an upper floor plan, architecture tab, window, uh, that'll do. And stick that there in the middle somewhere. Escape, escape. Now, if I go to my floor plan, I can't see it. And if I try to tag it, I can't. I'm annotate, tag by category, I can't find that roof light, okay? So escape, escape. What we need to do is just change the view range. Okay, so in our uh, view properties, go to the view range and edit. Now the top of the view range here is set to 2.3 meters. I think that's the Revit uh, default. I'm just gonna move that up a little bit, say maybe three meters and apply. Now we can see a roof light, okay? So we can tag it. So in the annotate tag, uh, sorry, tab, uh, tag by category and click on it. I'll just move my tag there into the center. Escape, escape. So it's tagged. But now we've got a new problem. We don't want to actually see that roof light in the floor plan. Okay, so what we need to do, you can use filters to do the same thing if there's multiple uh, roof lights, but I'm going to select this one, right click on it, override graphics and view by element, and I'm going to change the transparency to 100. Okay, and okay, escape, escape. Right, next thing I'm going to do in the modify tab is use my pick line, line work tool and have invisible line selected and find the whole window and click and it's gone right so it's still there but it's completely transparent and you can't see it but it's tagged now a new issue is you may want to be able to represent that in in the floor plan now we could have we could have uh, used our annotate ta uh, um, tools for detail line and, and drawn around the window but if you want to get it more accurate you go to a, uh, a ceiling plan i have my ceilings just overridden in yellow so i know they're there uh, I'm going to find this ceiling and I'm going to just cut it around the window, okay? So edit boundary. I'm going to pick the edge of the roof light opening. Okay, I should have locked them, but it's, it's okay. Okay, escape, escape. Now I'm going to go detail line. Uh, we use a dash line maybe, or overhead. Use your overhead uh, line. Pick line and lock. I'm picking the roof light opening in the ceiling. Okay, escape, escape. And then we're going to select those lines. I'm going to create a group out of them. At the, at the, uh, sorry, an annotated group. Uh, there we go. Sorry, that's right. You can't have them locked to the, the geometry and create a group. So, uh, roof light, I'm going to call it. Okay. Escape, escape. Now, if I go to my floor plan, and it's the annotate tab and detail groups and place detail group and go to uh, what was it roof light it'll find the spot exactly where we created it in the in the ceiling plan so if we if we edit it now in the ceiling plan for whatever reason the roof light gets smaller and we edit it then it'll be edited in the floor plan as well okay uh hope you found that useful if you did give it a like appreciate it and uh, subscribe and uh, fun with it and forward it on to somebody else who might need it as well. Thanks, guys.